Over the past few weeks, I have been renovating the abandoned World War II bunker that's in my back garden. When I entered the air raid shelter for the first time, it was in a sorry state, so I got to work on washing the walls and pumping out the standing water. In episode 3, my dad joined me and together we demolished the concrete slab above the air vent and secured some rebar over the top. Dad then crafted a temporary skylight from corrugated plastic so that we would have natural light to work in when inside. In this episode, I begin work on sealing the bunker. But it isn't easy, as the UK was recently hit by two back-to-back -back storms with heavy rainfall and flooding affecting most of the nation. Hey folks, welcome back to the bunker. It's been a while and it's finally come around to the episode where I'm gonna try and seal it. Sadly, we've had some really bad storms here in the UK as usual over the winter months and every weekend's just been rainstorm after rainstorm. But in between that, what I've done is kept this door open and the vent that we did over there completely open on the sunny days just to let it air out a bit. And it has dried quite a bit of uh, the inside of the walls. So now is the time to seal it. And I looked through some of your comments in the previous episode uh, and there's so many different products out there and things you can do to seal the bunker or cellars or basements and things like that. So many different products. I think you guys in the US have something called dry lock, is it, I think? In the UK, again, there's loads of product, products as well, but I've just found this one. I'm gonna give it a go, and uh, hopefully it works. It's probably gonna take, with this weather, maybe two days to dry, but after that, we can then work on putting another layer of maybe masonry paint over the top, and then we can figure out doing the vent properly and the door, and obviously the interior work and things like that. So I have no affiliation with this product whatsoever, but this is the one I've gone for. Uh, the waterproof coating, a seeker, ready to use waterproof coating. And it says for concrete and masonry, for floors and walls, ready to use, just add water. And on the back, you guys probably can't read that, it's all small text, but it basically says um, a flexible polymer modified cementitious coating. <laughs> uh, basically prevents water ing ingress for waterproofing block work, concrete and masonry. To proof Waterproofing for system foundations, retaining walls, basement cellars, slurry pits, showers and bathrooms. Anyway, it seems like it's going to do something, so let's try and give it a go. So I'm at the bottom of the stairs, it's still a bit wet down there, but you can see it's dried out quite a bit. There's small wet patches left. The majority of it has dried out. There's damp patches, there's always going to be damp patches. But most of it has dried a fair amount. That's a bit better you can see there. So yeah, we've, uh, you know, I can paint over that and it should be okay. This wall admittedly is the wettest because the vent has been leaking where well, it's cracked. But, and this wall's fairly wet, but the ceiling's good. For those wondering about the sump hole that we did for the sump, that we dug for the sump pump, I still need to get that sorted. So what I'm gonna do is put a little kind of wood form in there Fill it, backfill it with a bit of concrete and then the pump can just sit in there. So that will be completely sealed with concrete. I shouldn't really leave that open while this damp is in here because if it did fill up, that would then affect the structural integrity of the actual floor itself. So that's probably the next job is to get that sealed quickly. We're gonna try it, but first I need to get some gear on because it's a very confined space. There's probably gonna be fumes from that and um, yeah, I need to get wrapped up. I don't want to be breathing that stuff in and it's still quite damp down here on the old lungs. So I'll get the mask on as well. Let's crack on. So that's what it looks like. Just a dry powder, it's a five kilo tub and you're only meant to add water slowly apparently. So I'm not gonna use this whole tub because apparently it goes off quite quick. Got a bit of water.
little gap at the bottom because obviously there's still a bit damp here that needs to dry out. This is going to dry last, this bottom bit. You can see why they say wear face protection. That's well and truly splattered. So it's now actually the second day of sealing the bunker and it's drying pretty slowly because we're peak winter time and uh, we've had a lot of rain overnight. We've got another storm, Storm Dennis is coming in this weekend. So uh, they love to name the storms over here and uh, well, around the world. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be damp and it's gonna take a long, long time to dry, but at least I can get this first coat on and then worry about the second or third coat down the line. Like I say, really I should be doing this in summertime, but I've painted every wall ceiling that's now sealed. Hope you can see that. This wall here, the back wall's done, this wall's done. Still gotta do the stairway and I've got to do the vent as well. So I'm not doing the floor. And the reason I'm not doing the floor is because it's still drying out, which is why I've left it. You can see that damp line there. I've left it there. I don't wanna just paint straight over that. I need it to dry out a bit more. So yeah. I think it's wise to leave that to dry out properly and then I can sweep it all up. The water is pretty much gone now though, which is good. It's just that small kind of puddle there. But yeah, you can see where it's starting to dry off, the patches. Hopefully this should all dry pretty well in, uh, in a couple of weeks. But it's nice to see it all sealed. Anyway, it should, it might help. I don't know guys, it, it, it might do something I'm hoping. But now I've got to do this vent and seal all of these four sides. And then, yeah, back, back through here, seal this entrance away. You can see the damp there still. And then possibly the stairs. I guess I've got to do those as well. If I want to completely seal this. They're, quite, they're obviously the, that porous type of brick there. So it's always going to let something in. But I've got to do all the walls as well. It's surprising how much concrete is actually in here. <laughs> Put the, uh, the sealant down now, and that's all the vent done. Obviously, this is just a temporary vent. Remember this piece of uh, corrugated plastic. This is all fixed in and cemented in, so that my daughter, when she's older, won't be crawling around or falling down there. So I still need to build a vent on top of here. That's going to be one of the next challenges. I think I need to be able to create a flat lip to begin with because working with this at the moment is uh, it's all unsteady and you can see where we've just raised it up at the back so the rain sheds off but really I want to be flush around the edge here with uh, with some concrete and then I can build the vent on top of that that's the plan ah yeah a bit late for work today aren't you what's your reasoning what's your reasoning mate for once Jack so you're gonna come inside you're gonna go down yeah Come on, you're gonna go down? What's down there? What's down there? Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. Well, I'll go first then. So yeah. <laughs> Come on, mate. It's fine. Don't be a wuss. Come on. Come here. <laughs> oh yeah. You are funny man. It's really starting to come along now. All the walls and ceilings are done. It's just the floor, like I say, the sump. And you can see that where I'm stood here is completely dry. So it's definitely drying out. It's just where we've had such bad wind and rain, it's still coming in. We've had so much rain this winter. So all I need to do is let, uh, obviously I can't paint the floor and seal it just yet because it's too wet. So I may need to get a heater in here, dry that out. But if we're working on the vent and things anyway, there's going to be so much falling down that I might just leave the floor till right near the end, to be honest, because we've still got to work on this. So, um, yeah, I've got to really watch that moisture getting in there. Luckily, it's not puddling, but that will affect this whole base floor. So, I've got to solve that very soon. But look at that, much, much better. Much better. Completely 
sealed, sealing, vent. Yeah, we're really, really getting there. I've just got to make a start, I made a start here, where over there. So I've got to paint all this lot and the stairs as well, but we really are getting there. sealed now as best I could we've had a lot of rain and what I've noticed is where there's this gap just here because it can't be flushed because of the door there's always going to be a little gap here and the drips if you can see, you might be able to see yeah they come right down here and they go right into the, the bunker there and there's also gaps and holes in the door just there is a, is a big hole and it's starting to rot out look I can I can almost put my finger in that and that's starting to rot out as well, so that is why the, the uh, steps are a bit wet. So, still need to seal that. Not not sure whether this will completely seal. In fact, I don't think it will. Um, I still need to put more coats on when it's drier. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I know it's only a short one, uh, but there's only a certain amount you can film when you're painting and sealing inside. So hopefully, I think what I might have to do if this doesn't work is sort out the vent and the door so that they are sealed and then this will stay dry inside and then I can work on actually sealing the inside if it goes wrong. It's going to do something, probably only a little bit, it still needs another coat, maybe two, and then some masonry paint on top of that. But I do need to sort the door out. The other thing that I think I need to do is this. Essentially this is the bunker here, but all the way along here is uh, obviously debris and leaves, but I found down over here there's big, oh, there's big gaps, just here, like, look, I can put my finger right in. So any rain that goes on here is going to run into there and go into the bunker. So it's, it's, it needs repointing and sealing all around here on the outside. But again, we've had so much rain, it's really hard. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. I'm going to wrap it up here. And hopefully, I think I might have had a problem actually with my microphone halfway through that, so I apologise. But hopefully the next time I come here, I might bring Dad along and we can get a lot more work done and really start cracking on with getting that interior finished. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.